probably already been said. I, I'm not sure we heard all that, but I guess the idea of the background of the project was talked about. So, so we're very pleased, essentially, to have got to this point um, in the project um, and uh, considering all of the, uh, the, the possible things that could have uh, made the project not work at all, we managed to keep going and we're at the point where we're going to have four really interesting presentations about the work that our groups of teachers uh, have been doing. And, uh, you know, we, we'd like to thank everybody, uh, including the, the guests um, that have come today uh, uh, to, uh, to be part of this. Uh, thank everybody for, for coming on a Saturday and, and all the hard work that the teachers have put in uh, over what is, you know, 18 months of, of a project. So um, I'm just going to pass on to Susan, Susan Dawson, uh, who is going to say a few words just about the aims and objectives of the project from our perspective. Um, and then um, Diane will talk a little bit about some of the background and, and then we'll move on to, to the presentations. Good morning, everyone. Lovely to see you all. Um, our main aim really with this project was to look at how we might use inquiry-led research and we chose exploratory action research there as a type of classroom research for this project how we might use that to help teachers develop professionally in Dabu and we had three main aims three objectives that we were trying to achieve the first one was very much that this needed to be locally appropriate so we wanted to build a model that would work in the context of Dabu. And we are extremely grateful to Dr. Appia, Mr. Adi and Mr. Fofana for the way in which they have guided us and taught us and helped us and partnered with us throughout this project. Um, second thing that we wanted to achieve was to make this sustainable um, so that it could continue. And we'll be talking more about that this afternoon. And the third one was because of the distances, and this has been especially important during the pandemic, um, because of the distances between Dabu and Abidjan and Manchester, we wanted to look at how technology might be able to facilitate this sort of work as well, particularly thinking about how we might be able to sustain that. So I'll pass over to Diane. Okay, good morning everybody. Lovely to see you all gathered here. Um, and I think the first thing, uh, this, uh, rep this visual represents um, really the journey that the teachers here in the room have all been travelling um, over the last year and a half. Um, the first thing to say is to add to everybody else's thoughts that actually the, the journey has not always been as we predicted as smooth. Um, the global pandemic has got in the way, um, but we absolutely take our hats off to your resilience and commitment uh, to working together as a group and with ourselves. Um, and I think we've all gained a lot from this project. I think it's not just the teachers engaged in looking at their classrooms. So if you look at the, the overarching um, picture of where we've been, um, the project began face to face with Susan and Gary um, coming over and uh, leading uh, face to face workshops uh, right back at the start and I was present online but as we all know um, global events got in the way and we had to quickly adapt what we were doing. So we began that face to face work um, looking at what exploratory action research could uh, facilitate for practitioners. As Susan has described, our objectives were to find something localised, but to help and um, be uh, help you to share what was happening in your local classroom. So we began by looking at what we called critical incidents, which were the things that all teachers experience, moments in their classroom lives that cause them to stop and think and give pause for reflection. And from that, we went through a phase of identifying puzzles, questions that might focus our attention. We also looked at how we could do that, the types of ways that we could look at our classroom with new eyes, 
uh, ask colleagues to help us to look at our classrooms, and most importantly, to ask our learners, our students, to be part of our explorations. So our objective in this idea of reconnaissance and exploring to understand was to understand the classroom and how to make it the best place it could be for everybody involved. So as we moved from the face-to-face -to, -face to the uh, online, and in fact, it wasn't completely online, we had a combination of workshops facilitated locally um, by our, our Dabu colleagues, we had content and input which we provided from the distance. So if the teachers started to look at the puzzles that they were generating in the different ways in their different contexts. And to help support the project as we moved into this hybrid blended approach, both face-to-face -face and online, we created uh, school-based groups and we all worked as mentors, um, sharing experiences and helping everybody to, to reflect on their practice. So the online distance, um, although we might have seen it as an obstacle when it first happened, I think created new opportunities for us all. Um, and today, the presentations that we're all looking forward to um, are the result of all of this hard work over the past months. Um, and I think we all agree there's some exciting outcomes here uh, represented by all the teachers. Um, as I say, we're, looking for, we're very much looking forward to hearing about this, uh, this final celebratory stage. So I think I'm back to you, Gary, yes? Um. Yeah, so the final thing to say is that, uh, that as part of the process, uh, we have been recording uh, uh, what we've been doing uh, on a, a blog. Um, and uh, we talked about this at the beginning. We've, we've, we've included sort of little summaries of, of most of the sessions that, that we've done. And the part of the, the, the process will be uh, to put up the, 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 the mini videos that, that are created today. Uh, on this blog as well. So there will be output from, from it from today um, and, and, and there has been in the past. So, you know, we'd encourage you to, to look at that later. Um, so that um, is the end of, of that bit. Great. Uh, Dr. Apia, now we 